We're getting our first look at what MSU's head football coach said when questioned over his decision not to renew an assistance contract. Seven investigator Ross Jones here now with what he's learned. Ross. Dave, good evening. For five hours earlier this month, Mark D'Antonio was questioned under oath by attorneys for a man he once praised. Curtis Blackwell is suing the MSU coach and university, accusing them of wrongful termination. Curtis Blackwell's contract with MSU wasn't renewed in 2017 after he was arrested and suspended following a sexual assault scandal on the football team. Blackwell was never charged with a crime, but an investigation found he violated policy by not immediately reporting what he learned about allegations of sexual abuse involving three star players. Blackwell says in court filings that he was made a scapegoat for the scandal. Antonio denies it played any role in not renewing his contract. I made the decision on that. It was basically a, a philosophical change. We evaluated everything. Uh, there was a change. We need to be able to move forward, and this decision was made. Well, D'Antonio's complete five-hour deposition transcript is under seal. Portions of it have been released in a new court filing. In it, D'Antonio revealed that he told Blackwell he was being let go by phone while D'Antonio was on a train in Italy. He said the conversation lasted maybe two or three minutes and that he did most of the talking. Part of the motivation to move on from Blackwell, according to D'Antonio, was a recent change in NCAA rules that ended satellite camps like one Blackwell ran. The change, D'Antonio said, made Blackwell less effective as a recruiter. But that wasn't all. There were issues, D'Antonio said. There was a disconnect, adding later on, whether you want to call it friction, hostility, workplace environment, attention to detail, disconnect, accountability, structure to some degree, all came into question. Blackwell says he only received sterling performance reviews while he was at Michigan State and only a year earlier had been given a sizable raise when he was courted by other programs. But D'Antonio said things changed in that year and ultimately he replaced Blackwell with former NFL executive Sheldon White. Did we want an NFL executive to do it, or did we want Curtis to do it in the same way that had been done, he said. I felt it was warranted to make a change. We made the change. Now, attorneys for Blackwell say they are not done with D'Antonio and want to question him for another hour and five minutes. They say they had to quest cut their questions short earlier this month because the courthouse where they were conducting the deposition closed at 5 p.m. and they were forced to leave. A judge will ultimately decide if D'Antonio has to face more questions so it, far, far from done. Yeah, it took months and months to get that deposition date just, set. Just to get that far. In this and then area. ran out of time. Indeed. Ross, thank you. More to come. More to come for sure.